Oh, okay. Addressing a press conference today, DP Secretary General Matthias Nsubuga explained why the party did not take part in the inter-party organization for dialogue and also listed conditions that have to first be met by the government. The meeting was announced by the NRM Secretary General in the heat of walk-to-work -work protests last week was due to take place today. Nsubuga gave five key conditions that must be met before DP can take part in the talks namely a neutral person to chair the proposed meeting, the government to produce a list of all people detained during the work to work protests, the withdrawal of the army from the streets, the unconditional release of all political prisoners, and that the election results must be revisited before the presidential swearing in. Together with UPC and Justice Forum, DP welcomed dialogue with government last week. But the three parties initially gave four key conditions among them freeing of detained Keza Basaji and Nobat Mao, a clear agenda, withdrawal of the army from the streets and an end to police brutality. In a separate media brief, following the failure of talks taking place today, Government Chief Whip Daudi Migerico urged the opposition not to derail the dialogue by setting preconditions. Now, to try and set ultimatums, to try and set conditions, preconditions, for these discussions is not what was envisaged under the iPod arrangement. Miguelco also rejected the need to have a neutral person to chair the inter-party meeting since the chairmanship of iPod is rotational. Presently, NRM is the leader. If it turns out that uh, at the time the summit is supposed to be held, NRM is in the chair, NRM will chair. We want a neutral person not one from the side of government or from opposition. And this person must be agreed upon by all of us in the opposition and the government. The Democratic Party, meanwhile, has vowed to go ahead with a rally at Kololo Airstrip and says the police have been notified about it. Maurice Chol, NTV 11.